with me, Ken Jong. Thank you. You may know me as that guy from that thing, which you probably thought was okay. <laughs> So I'm filling in for James Corden while he's taking time off of work to do another project. <laughs> Botox, nose job, lip injection. <laughs> now, but what an opportunity. Like, I am so grateful to the nine celebrities who said no before James asked me. <laughs> now, and here's a fun fact. You may or may not know this, but, you know, I, before I went to comedy, I used to be a doctor. Do you guys know that? I used to be an actual... <laughs> yes. Thank you. Heal thyself. <laughs> um, I was an internal medicine physician at Kaiser Permanente and practiced for seven years before I said, F that, I'll be naked and famous in a movie. And that is what makes America great. Now, <laughs> a lot of people say laughter is the best medicine. Uh-uh. Clonopin is the best medicine. <laughs> All right, it gives you a scholar's buzz. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. For me, hosting a late night show, even for one night, guys, this is a dream come true. It is so exciting knowing millions of people will be tuning in at 11.30 to see me. What? When does this air? 12.30? Hundreds of people <laughs> will be tuning in to see me. Speaking of exciting, tomorrow is a very historic day. The House of Representatives will be voting on the impeachment of Donald Trump. Yeah. I got to say, it is pretty ballsy of the House to hold their impeachment vote the same day as the second season finale, The Mass Singer, picked up for a third. Am I right? Yes. Yes. Let's do that again. <laughs> we'll be right back with the human rim shot. All right. <laughs> and we'll cut that now. <laughs> it is a rough time for Trump, although maybe he'll see this show tonight and feel cheered up that I'm filling in for James Corden. You know, an American taking a job back from an immigrant. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> now, in other news, this was an interesting news study. So-called me time is more important for a healthy relationship than date nights. Me time, or as Mr. Chow calls it, <laughs> Come on, guys. Thank you. Thank you, guys. What? That's not dirty. I was rolling dice from my stomach. Grow up. <laughs> me time. I like that term. It's much better than the one I've been using around the house. Oh, face o'clock. <laughs> and that is what you call acting range. And scene. And finally, Christmas is almost here. And it looks like some people have already started celebrating. Police at the Nashville airport discovered that a man carrying suitcases filled with wrapped Christmas presents was actually smuggling 84 pounds of marijuana. <laughs> Sorry, Reggie and the band Christmas is canceled. So... <laughs> Guys, as a doc, I would not advise you to do this. It is dangerous, it is illegal, and you can get into a lot of trouble. And besides, if you want that much weed, holla at your boy, you know? <laughs> and meet me in the back of my Camry. Boom! Thank you.